If you're a boat owner, you need this. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do, this is gonna be a short video. It's that time of the year to where I get finally get to start my boat. Now, the last time the boat ran was about uh, in October of 2019. So we are gonna just go very quickly change the oil, change the oil filter. So the battery's been sitting underneath this desk for the boat for since uh, last year. And it's been cold in here, so I will need assistance on starting the boat when it comes to not actually jumping it from my car to the uh, to jump the boat battery. I was sent a product that is seriously awesome and uh, will stay with me on the boat while I go. All right, so this, I, I, I am gonna say this, this is something every boat owner should have in their boat at all times during, uh, during the summer or while the weather is nice. So let's take a look at this. Look at that, that, that is beefy. This company is called AutoWit. Uh, this is a Kickstarter right now when it comes to their products. They sent me this to do this video and this actually is gonna prove to be extremely useful when it comes to being out on the water because the, the last thing that you want is to have a dead battery because of, of a mistake, you're chilling too long, you have your radio playing, and you do not want to be uh, stranded out in the middle of the ocean or the lake. And this is going to be good to keep in your boat for uh, to jumpstart your uh, your engine if you accidentally kill your battery by using the the power that's there. Here are the jumper cables. And so there you go. I like that. That's actually pretty. That's pretty decently long. That's good. This, the, the jumper cables is approximately, ooh, 20, about ni 19 and a half inches long. That's awesome. That is awesome. Input micro USB uh, is five volts by two amps. DC port is 6.5 amps. Output is 12 volts. So this is perfect for, uh, for your car and, and your boat. I'm, my main use for this during the summer is gonna be the boat. But they do have a cigarette outlet in there as well. The word, I uh, believe that you could charge, you could charge this by that. Plug it in there, plug that to your cigarette outlet in your car or, or even your boat. Your boat has a cigarette outlet as well. At least mine does. Uh, and so yeah, this has a, a USB micro. I think that's a power button. And it also has the ports for the, make sure those cables are not touching. These are shaped, so you cannot you cannot mistakenly put these in the wrong spot. So there you go. We're gonna let this charge, and we're gonna change the oil of the of the boat. Alrighty. All right. So what I have here is a 5.7 V8 engine. All right. So I got the proper connection. All I got to do now is just pump. This pump works pretty good. This pump really does work good. Like no effort, it's sucking all that out. All right, connect you. And connect you. All righty, so what we're gonna do, Matt is gonna help me start the engine. Uh, I haven't used the battery since last year. So let that charge for a little bit. Uh, let's uh, turn the water on and turn the boat on. We're good. So this, there are winterized stuff inside that needs to be blown out. All right, it looks good.
thanks to that. So, already, as you can see, this actually worked and it did it did its job because uh, it gave my battery that extra power to start that because the boat hasn't started it in a uh, long time and it's a big engine. So if you're a boat owner, you need this. You seriously do. This isn't just a gimmick. Like it, the you seriously do not want to be stranded out in the water from an accidental. Like I said in the pre, uh, in the, uh, early in the video, for you don't need a dead battery from accidentally letting your radio or whatever devices you have connected to your boat battery to die out. Even your uh, even your blower, your exhaust blower, to get the fumes out of the the engine area, you know, like you can leave that running too long and it'll kill, kill your battery. So the, and uh, to, you could get a jump, but you will be charged for the, the fee wherever you're at. So you need this. Uh, the, I'll put the link in the description below. And yeah, this is going to stay in my boat uh, at all times during spring, summer, and fall. Oh, and this, this, is safe to, this is safe to use because you could actually connect the uh, red... The positive and negative cable together and it will not spark and so I'll show you guys right now it is on it is on and as you can see I just saw it right now so I'm comfortable to do it no spark no spark whatsoever which is that that's that's safe you know so your kids could use this so according to what I'm reading, this will last you up to 20 years. And I'm guessing uh, also what I'm reading is this will uh, support up to 100,000 jumps, which I've not, I've, you're never going to wear this battery out. Most cases, it says, up to, it says up to it'll recharge your battery up to three minutes. But when it comes to this, you'll probably, you'll more than likely will be able to start your car within the first 10 seconds. You connect it, you pretty much walk to your driver's seat and you could turn it on. So I could rest assured that if I ever drain my battery accidentally from the radio or whatever, I know I could jump it so I won't even care. 97%. So, so it's good. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.